The Department of Defense has tried to wipe their hands clean of any responsibility to the Ordot landfill, which was regulated by the U.S. Navy after World War II. The Office of the Attorney General of Guam has filed a lawsuit against the DOD to hold them accountable and pay their fair share of the $160 million bill to clean and close the dump. Ordot Chalampago Mayor Jesse Gogui. If you remember or you actually experienced going to the oil dump and saw things being thrown in there, especially if it, was, it can be linked to the, the naval government or the military on this island, please step forward. The Office of the Attorney General is looking for people that can provide first-hand recollections of the military's use of the Ordot landfill that will be used as evidence against the DOD when they go to trial court in Washington, D.C. Houston-based attorney Bill Jackson is representing Guam in the case. People that have a memory where they actually saw the United States or the military or the Navy using the dump, or they were at the dump and they saw ordinance or jeeps or vehicles or other military waste that they knew or could tell was used by the military. Um, evidence or recollections of a truck driver who maybe took waste from uh, one of the you know, big Navy or Anderson to the ORDOT or saw somebody that, that you know, military truck that drove the, uh, the waste to the, to the dump. After the military handed the dump over to GovGuam for municipal waste, the EPA ordered them to clean it up and shut it down due to leaching in the adjacent Lonefit River, a clear violation of the Clean Water Act. The OAG is suing the Navy under what's known as the Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation and Liability Act, or CERCLA. Audit and Chalampago sits over the aquifer. You'll see pump stations throughout our village. What has happened is not only impacting our people, but it's acting and impacting the folks that they bring in to man these bases. They're drinking the water that comes out of our aquifer. The AG's office is collecting testimonies through their website. You can visit that at oagguam.org slash ordot. You can also email them at ordot at oagguam.org or give them a call. That's 671-475-2710. For KUAM News, I'm Tyler Matsunani.